Hey, what is going on, guys? My name is Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger, and today we are going to be taking a look at the Viami V3 Max robot vacuum. The V3 Max is loaded with features as line of sight, navigation, app control, and a whole lot more. Let's go ahead and jump in and see everything that this thing comes with. I highly recommend checking out the instruction manual. It comes in multi-languages to get this thing set up. You're going to get a quick start guide to get this thing set up and going fairly quickly. Then you're going to have a mop head attachment in case this is something you want to use. And then you're going to get a bunch of replacement filters for the mop head attachment. Now you're also going to get extra bristles that you can use to replace later on. And then you're going to get an AC adapter to plug it into its charging base. To install the mop head attachment, simply just turn the vacuum on its side and slide it down. It's very easy to do, takes no skill. So the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go to the top of your vacuum and you're going to lift open the lid. You'll see a little tray here. What you want to do is grab the clip and you're simply just going to pull that out. And then all we're going to do with this is we're going to open up the little tab on top and we're going to go ahead and fill this with water so we can use the mopping attachment. The next thing you want to do is find an area with at least five foot of open space either way. Go ahead and set down the charging dock and what you want to do now is grab the vacuum and set it down on this dock to charge. You'll know it's charging when you hear this sound. Starting to charge. Let's go ahead and jump over into the app while this is charging to check that out. What you want to do on your Android or your iPhone is search Mi Home Xiaomi Smart Home. Once you get that installed, what it's going to do is it's actually going to pop up and the app will walk you through step by step how to get this thing installed and paired with your vacuum. So after you do that, you can name it. I named mine Timmy. And you're going to notice right here when it first pops up, I kind of let my vacuum run around for a little bit and started to map out one of my rooms. While you're taking a look at the app, you'll also notice right here is where the charging dock is. In the bottom left, you can select vacuum, vacuum and mop, or just mop as a setting. You can go to suction and you can set that between quiet, standard, medium, and strong. In the bottom right of the app, you're going to see map management, which allows you to set areas, virtual walls, point vacuuming, or just area vacuuming. In the top right corner of the screen, there's these three little dots right here. And what you want to do is click those, and that's going to bring you into more settings. One of the first settings I want to talk to you about is the clear map. Say you have this robot learn your house, but then you switch it up. What you can do is go in there to clear the map so it'll relearn. Now what you want to do is you can hit the voice packet. There's a ton of different languages. We'll go ahead and back out. So now what you want to do is this volume adjustment. That's how loud your robot's going to talk to you. Scrolling down, you're going to see that you have some other features right here and some other settings. We're going to go ahead and do the consumable statistics. What this is, is this showing you the health of the different consumables on your vacuum. And then once we back out of that, you're going to see another setting you have here is equipment level. What this is going to do is tell the vacuum to recalibrate its level for how close it's sitting to the ground. And another little cool feature that you have is the remote control feature. So what the remote control feature is going to allow you to do is manually control the vacuum and where it's going. Okay guys, so off screen I went ahead and let this thing charge up and map out some of my house. And as you can see here, it's went through two rooms and it's mapped it out pretty well. All of those crazy lines were it just avoiding obstacles, so don't worry about that. Once you get this thing done and you don't want it to do anything else anymore, what you want to do is locate on the bottom of your screen this little charge back button right here. What that'll do is that'll tell it to send it back to the dock. So let's go ahead and press that button and we'll kind of follow it and see its way back to the dock. So we'll go ahead and press that button. I sped the video up here just so you guys can see it kind of getting back to its dock. This thing doesn't move insanely fast, so I didn't want you guys sitting here watching my vacuum get back to its dock for an hour. And as you can see here, it's just sputtering along. And as it approaches, you're going to notice that it's going to find the perfect spot just to bring itself home for the night. Honestly, the V3 from Viome is a very viable vacuum that I definitely recommend you guys checking out. It's got great suction strength. We've got dogs that tear up toys and the cotton gets everywhere and it had no problem picking that up. So at the end of the day, what you want to do is you want to make sure you come to this filter again. You're going to grab that little clip like I showed you guys earlier and then simply walk over to your trash can and dump it out and you'll be able to reinstall it. I really hope this video helps you guys make a decision on whether or not to get this. I highly recommend it. So if you guys are interested in it, go ahead and get yourself one today and I'll see you guys on the next video.